This is the video review for Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Barricade. Um, he does have this mech tech weapon that plugs in uh, fairly concealed into the center of his uh, light bar, and then that piece does, it takes a little while, it's a little slower spring, but it will pop back up into place uh, to fill in that light bar. Um, and, and the weapon itself is a claw that, as you can see, kind of folds up in there, and then as it comes up, it expands out and sticks forward. Now, uh, I saw a video review that was saying that this happens to lock out unlike other deluxes. I haven't been able to make that happen um, unless it's something about this piece right here getting caught. Like, if you put this off a notch, uh, you can't actually get that to catch like that, but it involves... Uh, you're going to end up stripping the gears of the weapon. You can lock it out, I guess, if you if you force uh, force the gears out of alignment and, and you will eventually end up stripping those gears. It's not super hard plastic here. Um, but uh, it, it should, and, and the spring's kind of gimpy on mine too, but it, uh, it should spring out with a claw and then spring back into place uh, by itself. So yeah, like I said, you can lock it out if you're willing to eventually end up breaking your entire gun. Uh, and here's Barricade in vehicle mode. Um, he's got the white spoiler now as opposed to just the unpainted black one on the previous versions of the figure. Um, but all in all, like he's got a very awesome looking vehicle mode. I really, really like it. Um, it's a little smaller than the original. I don't have that one in hand to show you. Um, but it's actually a lot smaller than the original car. And but, but, but the paint apps on it, there's not a lot, but they're there. Um, and it's just a really nice looking vehicle mode. And now that I've said that, I'm going to have a couple of nice things to say during transformation, but uh, just get ready for it to go downhill from here. So yeah, transform them. Uh, much like in many similar veins, you pull the arms out to the side. You can, if you want, go ahead and lift these up a little bit. Uh, the legs, I pull out these. These are going to fold down and make kneecaps here. But you detach this, and the legs are actually stuffed. Getting them back in is kind of fun. But they're actually up in there. You need to. And of course, usually these just pop right out. There you go. Just slide them right out here. And then these pieces fold down around to the back of the leg. Right, you can pop them apart too. And there are the legs. Um, and then again, this piece uh, comes all the way around. And you have to use a little bit of force, but it does snap into there and then rotates around. Just like this. This up a little bit here. And then you pull the legs out to the side here. It's got rotating hips. So you can bring these around and forward. Like that. Uh, and then this front piece right here rotates. it down to make it look like the compressed uh, hood of the car there. Then you lift that, lift this whole piece up, and then you push the head up through there, and this piece is going to come down, and you can see where this piece tabs. So there's a slot under there that this is going to tab right into, just like that. And then you bring the arms up, and again, the arms, much like a uh, Jolt don't lock in anywhere, they just kind of come up. Uh, flip the hands out, and he does have, his fingers are jointed. Uh, you do want to kind of have them closed for him to hold his mech tech weapon, but they are jointed. Uh, and the doors actually are on hinges that can pop up. Because that gives you the room to, to fold the elbows up. So if you want to rotate them up here, there's that panel kind of sits in between the door and the thing, but it does give you the room to do it. Uh, and then you can rotate these pieces around. Just like that. And then, of course, the, the door windows come up on his back. And here he is. And a lot of people are saying they really like him. Uh, he's very much a midget. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's just that uh, if, if you look, his chest 
literally sits right on top of his crotch. I mean, like, like these would be his pecs. Here's his crotch. There's no abdomen. And his crotch piece looks like it's of a completely different scale than the rest of his body. If there were just a little bit more, I mean, you can kind of angle it to, to various degrees, but not much um, if you still want to have him looking forward like a normal person. Um, and it's and it's really a shame because there's a lot of really neat stuff. I like how they managed to make this just a little flip piece to uh, to represent the uh, the hood crumpling a little bit uh, for transformation. I thought that was a neat touch. Um, I think the arms, aside from I think the shoulders are kind of crap, but I, I like how they work the arms. I like the fact that he's got two normal hands. Um, and and like I said, the arms and legs by themselves are okay. Even the torso, like the torso and the arms and the legs are all in proportion to themselves. It's just, there's no middle of his body. And that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. So, that, that, that's my thoughts on him. He does have mech tech points uh, here inside his wheels. Um, and like I said, and it's just a shame because he's got a really well-painted uh, alt mode. He's got a really nice uh, vehicle mode. I, lo I absolutely love his vehicle mode. Um... And he's probably going to be staying in it a lot. Um, his mech tech weapon's okay, um, but but a really really good vehicle mode. Uh, there's some fun neat things during the transformation. You just end up with kind of a crappy robot. It just really bugs me. It's not, eh? No, it, it's pretty bad. And see, it looks okay, kind of okay from the back because you can't see that so much of this up here is chest and teeny teeny crotch. So he's definitely compensating for something with this giant claw weapon. Um, but yeah, so 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 overall, he's got a lot of posability, like just hinges and ball joints all over the place. Um, he's you know he's got even got a hinge and a ball joint here at his elbow. Uh, so you can do a lot of stuff with him. He just looks off. His head's too big. Well, I mean, his head's too big for his height. Um, like I said, his head and chest, arms and legs. They're all in proportion to each other. They're just, it looks like somebody smished him. And, of course, technically Bumblebee did kind of smish him in the first movie, so maybe that's all that is. Uh, but, like I said, if you close his hand up, you can get him to hold his mech tech weapon. And just as a size comparison, here he is with Trax and um, sidearm side swipe. So you can see that. But there you have it. Uh... Good vehicle mode, uh, kind of fun transformation, uh, really derpy robot mode. Dark of the Moon Barricade.